US dollars. So this is our first fight, minimum weight division. We've got Mirlan Turkbay of Kyrgyzstan up against Sakli Alakfordovi of Georgia. Turkbay beats Sayran Yagikian of Armenia by unanimous decision. Multiple national champion, 2021, 2019, 2018, 2016. Bronze medal at the Asian Championships in 2019. Alak Vadovi of Georgia got past Govind Sahani of India 4 0. Boxed at the Olympics. Unfortunately, him went out early in the competition. And here comes Turk Bai. And into the blue corner, Sakli Alak Vadovi. Medaled at the European Under 22s in 2018 as well, and the European Youth the year before that. But this is the first senior world championships for, for both of these two. And that's been the case for lots of fighters we've seen over the last week and a half. A lot of new faces. And it's made things very, very interesting. You always get a, a changing of the guard after an Olympic Games. But what's been unusual about this year, of course, is the fact that the world championships has come just weeks after the Olympic Games, really. And that is not normally the case. So you've got fighters stepping up here who don't actually have very much elite level senior experience. Normally, they would have a year and a couple of months under their belt by the time the first World Championships came around after an Olympics. But for reasons that we're all only too aware of, that's not the case this time. So big height difference between the two there. Alec Vadovi of Georgia kind of towering over took by Tukbai's in the red, Alec Vadovi in the blue. So here we go, the opening quarter final in ring B. Tukbai just looking to try and just jab to the body there, stoop to the body. You see a lot of fighters try and take that punch early on. As soon as they can get it. It's a scoring punch. And when you look at these two, it would appear obvious what the dynamic of the fight is going to be. I like Vadovi is that much taller. If he can use that jab, want to use that height and the reach that comes with it, then he'll want to try and keep this on the outside, keep Turkbai on the end of that jab, and that would be how he would go about winning this fight. Turkbai, for his part, needs to try and slip inside those longer arms. Well, there's the one-two from I like Vadovi. That's what's going to work for him. Turkbai's got to find a way of getting up close. Right hand, long right hand there from Alec Vadovi. Trying to move his head on the way in there, Turkbai. Alec Vadovi had just taken his feet back a bit, gave himself the room and the fighter in blue just giving a little bit of ground there. You can see him just giving the ground just to try and keep that that optimum distance for himself between him and Turk Bai. He knows that Turk Bai is going to try and come in on him. Short with the right hand to the body there, Turk Bai. Alec Vadovi tried to come back with the with the one two, but he was also just out of range. Jab to the body from the fighter in blue. Not been all that much landed in the first couple of minutes of this one. Again, just stepping in with the right hand. 
The way Turk Bright's going about this, he's looking for that, that right to the body. They're trying to step in, close the gap and throw that right hand as he did there. He's, he's not really managed to get actually up close all that much. Caught with the left hand there as he, as he attempts it. He's not really bobbing and weaving his way in. He tends to take a big step and either throw a punch or off the back of that big step, then try and move his head and get tighter. But it's quite easy for Alec Vadovi to see either of those two things coming. Long right hand there from the fighter in blue. He's brought some increased heat towards the end of the round here, though, to bite. Alec Vadovi, I think, could maybe throw a bit more he had that distance he had that gap pretty much all the way through that round he picked some good punches and he was the more effective of the two I think and he gets it across the across the board there ten nines all the way but given that he's he's managing to maintain that gap well just pump out that jab pump out that jab that one two just keep throwing it because Turk Bai doesn't seem to really want to, to commit to trying to get onto the inside. Like I said, he, he either stoops and tries to take that jab or right hand to the body, or he steps in and looks to try and throw that right hand. So into the second round, it's Alec Vadovi of Georgia in the blue corner who took that opening round with all five judges. So that's a good start for him. Taking that opener in a three round fight is, is big. Overturning a, a 1 0 deficit is by no means unheard of. People do it, but it's, it's difficult and relatively unusual. that right hand to the body again there took bite but as I said he's, he's finding it difficult to to get into range catches Alec Vadovi with a right hand there though and a left maybe just before that he tends to chase him around the ring a bit Alec Vadovi pops that jab again just maintains that distance between the two of them at that distance though he can throw and I think he should throw more. Throw that jab, throw that one, two more. There's no reason not to. Keep it nice and loose. He doesn't need to put maximum effort or power into it, but just keep throwing it. There we go. Popped it off nicely there and just caught Turk Bias. He was, as I say, on the outside. Because this fight is being fought at exactly the range that Alec Vadovi would want it to be fought at. Feet clashing almost there. It's the final minute of round two. Trying to move his head on the way in there to by and actually did it pretty well. He got inside the jab and then when he got up close. He didn't do anything. That was that was some good work to get where he needed to get. And once you've got there, you've got to try and make it count because it's difficult getting there. Nice one too again there from Alec Vodovi. Just good accurate punching. single right hand from the Georgian and he's winning this round again so he's well in control here the blue corner well in control
And 10 lines across the board there, and there's no way you could really go any other way. There's a 10-8 actually in there from the Netherlands. For me, would need to be a bit more dominant than that, I think, to get to get a 10-8. But he is controlling this fight, and I guess the only reason I'm kind of criticising slightly and saying that he could just punch more is because he is making this look quite easy. And he's won both rounds, and he's cruising through here, to be honest with you. He is cruising through. But I think he could just let those hands go a little bit more. It wouldn't constitute any kind of a risk. So third and final round, exactly Alec Vadovi of Georgia. A couple of rounds up here, he's in the blue, so Milan Turkboy of, of Kyrgyzstan, he, he needs a huge round here. Using those feet, Alec Fedovi doesn't really need to engage at all in this in this final round. Just throw the odd one, which is what he's been doing in the first couple of rounds anyway. I don't see him really increasing the tempo or the work rate now. Nice uppercut. And as I said right at the very start of the session, for everybody who wins today. They are guaranteed a bronze medal and they are guaranteed 25,000 US dollars. The introduction of prize money this year under the new president, Umar Kremlev, has been significant. It gives a different aspect to the, to the whole system, to the whole setup. You can win $100,000 if you win a gold medal here, 50,000 for a silver. There's been prize money in every competition so far this year, from juniors through to youths, through to continental seniors with the Asian Championships, and now the World Championships, the World Youth Championships as well. It's It's been interesting to see the kinds of things that Aiba have been doing this year, all the reforms, of course, away from the ring. But in terms of the events, and I've been at five or six of them now, it's a different world. You look at the layout of this place, the opening ceremony is absolutely spectacular. So into the final minute here, and Alec Vadovi is, as I said, he's cruising through to the to the semi-finals here. He's really just stayed away from Turk Bay in this third round. Turk Bay has chased him around the ring, which is what he's done in the in the whole of the fight really so far. He's not really managed to cut the ring off on Alec Vadovi, who just every now and again just ditches a couple in from the outside. So there goes the bell and our first fight in ring B through to the semi-finals with that guaranteed bronze and 25,000 is exactly Alec Vadovi of Georgia and that will be a great feeling, a great feeling. Turkbine's come up short there, scampering around the ring just trying to close that gap, close that distance and, and land on Alec Vadovi was, was a difficult task for him and not one that he ever really got to grips with. So the fight in blue is going through. And the Slovakian judge going took by his way in that final round. All the other judges scoring it three rounds to nil. A 10 8 in there as well, as we mentioned from the Netherlands. So that was pretty comfortable for Alec Verdovi. That won't have taken too much out of the tank. Day off for everybody tomorrow, and then the semi finals on Thursday. 
So with regard to days off approaching the quarterfinals, and I think this is a, an important point to make, some fighters who are boxing today would have boxed yesterday, others would have boxed the, the day before, but everybody will have had equal rest. So you won't have a matchup where one fighter boxed yesterday and one boxed the day before, so one's had a day's rest and the other one hasn't. That's 